Hey, what's going on, people? Uh, just wanted to check in with you before the podcast starts. Uh, hello on iTunes, and also if you're watching on YouTube. Me and Chris want to say a massive thank you from the bottom of our hearts for supporting the TNC podcast. We've been going for 15 weeks now. We didn't think it'd be going that long when we first set out about this uh, over a sort of a late night phone call where we said, let's start a podcast. We've had some incredible guests on and uh, well, we're only really just getting started. The reason I wanted to check in with you guys before we started the podcast is because we're now sponsored. Uh, we are sponsored by a company called freetreats.co.uk. Now this website is owned by a Norwich City fan. It's a uh, company very close to our hearts. So we wanted to link up with them. Uh, they're backing us financially and that's gonna make the podcast a lot better going forwards. Now there's something in it for you guys as well. All you have to do is head over to freetreats.co.uk. You enter your name and your email address and every single day you have the chance of winning free chocolate, free crisps, free money, free coffee, loads of stuff. All you have to do is enter your email address and go and check their website to see if you've won every single day. There's a massive chance that you guys, one of you guys, will win something. Big chance to win something nice every 24 hours. And all you have to do is put in your name and your email uh, email address. Links to them will be in the description. Enjoy this podcast from me, from Chris, and from all of the guests that we've had on. A massive thank you for continuing to watch the TNC podcast and listening. Your time means a lot to us. Enjoy. Hey, what's going on, guys? Talk Norris City here, back for week 15 of the TNC podcast. Sadly, we couldn't get Grant Holt on this week, so we got the second best. It's big Grant Holt, John Rogers. Give me one of them. How you doing? Oh, that was good. That was a good puck, that, wasn't it? Come on, I'll, I'll hand. <laughs> He doesn't put him, his hand gets low. I've seen a his lot of boom. people go for one of these nowadays. Is that the cool thing to do? Is do one of them? I, like, well? I, love, I love, quite like the. I'm going for those emojis at the moment. Yeah, you like them. I'm loving those emojis. Kind of I feel your really emoji? old already. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favourite emoji? First question. Uh, favourite emoji. I bet it's the poop one. No, never use it. I'm never use I'm that. A, I'm, like, I'm not a poop kind on, of guy actually. You. I used it a lot when Alex Neal was in charge. If you've not got the crying laugh face within your top three, I question. Five. Your life. Yeah, because you're okay. not leading a very happy one. <laughs> yeah. Or you're not laughing much. Yeah. <sighs> ten. Ten. Number ten. And also, why is the naughty devil face on there? Ooh. Ooh. No, I'm <laughs> joking. <laughs> <laughs> that was to describe Alex Pritchard's performances last season. <laughs> we <Whee. laughs> keep those. Anyway, emojis. we're back for week fifteen. I can't believe we've lasted this long, Chris. We're somehow still going. We're still somehow managing to find interesting Norris City's guests. finest guests yeah John how you doing mate I'm okay thank you how are you I'm good yeah <laughs> I'm scared I'm just seeing what's under here that's disgusting what? do you always keep that there yeah not normally that much of it but that yeah. is rank mm. yeah I'm really good thank you it's a bit weird isn't it not having anything to talk about Norwich oh, yeah. have we have we always talked about oh, signed three players already have we yeah which ones uh, Brian Gunn oh, no, was it son <laughs> did, did you ever uh, you see Brian I think if you were at the tails of the City first thing, I think I was the last person to score a goal against Brian Gunn. You were there, Oh, weren't yeah, you? you scored with a sock. I scored with a sock. I was the last, I'm officially mm. the last person there to score against Brian Gunn. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. You weren't there? Were but you? have you played in Brian Gunn's back garden with a real football and a is real that a euphemism or? Against, uh... <laughs> have you been for a barbecue around Dale Gordon's? Again, is that a euphemism? <laughs> <laughs> have you had Lee Croft round for, for a uh, cauliflower you, cheese? You, the amount yeah, of times you told me that. So literally my claim to fame. I never yeah. understand why cauliflower cheese to you is a main meal. Like, why did he just have cauliflower he, cheese? Lee Croft just loved cauliflower cheese. That's a side dish, though. Don't blame me. Blame Crofty. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> God, we really, um, we've launched into this, haven't we? Let's come on. Stick to the races. So, yet. you have a big project yeah. coming out that you've been working on for a long while. It's yeah. big the What right. Happened movie. The movie. The movie. The movie. I'm going to call it the movie because it sounds cool, but it's yeah. not a movie. It's about 35 minutes long, I think. I'm counting that as a movie. Yeah, I'm just got a short movie. Yeah. As well. I did do a trailer. Yeah. That was with a, it's the first thing I did, actually, was that little... Yeah, you were at the Cannes Film Festival, weren't you? Oh, was it the Cannes Fans Film Festival. Plugin, yeah. It didn't go well. People booed. But, really? You know, right, okay. Was it Jez Moxie? Well, I have gone to town on him. I you have. have. I thought it was a little harsh. Mate, you ain't seen the rest of it. Just wait until <laughs> you see the rest of it. Yeah, I have ripped he, into shreds. Don't worry, he hasn't got the brains to work social media, so you won't find out it's even existed, so it's all good. He, oh, He's not happy. Why do you not like Jez? 
Um, I think for anyone who has been in football that long to leave the club that soon, something must have happened. Okay. Mm. No, no, no. Or maybe something didn't happen. Maybe you just it's spin up. I'm shocked. That's all right. It's fine. It's all part of it. When cool. you're in the middle, it's all part of it. Nice sweets, though, isn't it, Jack? Yeah. So <laughs> let's get that plug in. Do you first. just shout at people? <laughs> is that what you do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sweets. That's how you get views. So okay. yeah. First of all, a massive thank you to freetreats.co.uk. Links in the description. You've already already seen a little bit about that. But John, the snacks this week have been provided by freetreats.co.uk. So, oh, you can't eat chocolate. I can't can eat you? chocolate. So there's no good, literally <laughs> everything is bloody chocolate. Well, we've got a banana there, but that's holding up our microphone. So don't take that. Oh, that's a banana, is it? Oh, <laughs> right. Actually, Can you not even have one of these? No. Nope. Just that's double one. chocolate. Just one. Is what are you a, holding it up? Yeah, it's mini. Actually, I've got some mango uh, yeah, I'll slivers do. in the fridge. You can have a banana over there, an apple. Do you, I'm, do, I'm, do you want some mango, genuinely? Uh, maybe. I was like, that's a little sloppy, yeah, won't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, all right then, so what happened? Yeah, what happened movie? Let me talk about it, because so I worked it? bloody hard on it. So yeah. so if anyone's seen the What Happened movies, I used to do little six minute, between four and five minutes, little videos about explain what happened during mm-hmm. the game. And I didn't normally talk about the football, I normally talked about mm. things that happened around it. Mm-hmm. For this one, I've gone through all the way from July, all the way to May, and every single month, and talked about everything but the football. Everything. That is How do you remember that? Half. Do you like write notes? You must have done No, I just went back and followed and read the Pinkin, for example, read okay. people's match reports and Pinkin just remember all the things. So it goes from the first or the transfer window in, in the summer. Mm-hmm. I was thinking the other day, because we didn't make a sign in until, was it mid July last summer? Who did we um, actually sign last summer? I can't remember. Our first that. signing was Michael McGovern, wasn't it? Mickey. Uh, oh, Mickey. That's why I can't on. remember any of them. Ooh. Hey. Ouch. It's not that bad. But it's, hardly a, it's hardly an Angus gun, is it? Very true. Have you seen him play? What, Angus? Yeah. yeah, I saw him in a pre-season. So yeah, a couple of years, yeah. Against Dortmund, I think it was. He, you saw it, though. By the way, wow, it was pretty mega. But that's all I've seen him in. What's his kicking like? Awesome. He's a gun. Amazing. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what happened? No, it's not an answer. Crack on. <laughs> What happened? So what happened? So it's, it's coming out on this Saturday. I've got 20 when this is coming out. But this Saturday, the 17th. 3pm? Uh, yeah, I might do. Yeah, yeah nice. go on. Do it 3pm. Let me write that down. 4pm. And, <laughs> and it, I've just spent a lot of time and I've really enjoyed doing it. I hate looking at it now with a passion. If I see my face one more time, I probably will go loopy. So everyone give John some love to keep him. Just I want people to watch it enjoy mm. it. That's the thing. I don't, yeah. people, I, I don't, Actually, don't want... give him love. Just watch it. Yeah. And like it. See, I'm not a big one for, for stats either. I'm just trying to think what I want from it. What Money do you want from it? I've always wanted to, I like I like doing film and I like doing stuff, mm. but there's a lot more special effects on it. There's um a po- there's poetry in it and there is a song at the end of it as well. I've written another oh, song. Oh, nice. Cool. It's got really a cool video with it as well. Wee. That'd be good. So ha- tune in. I think you your Twitter account was one of the first I ever followed in my was it? Really? Yeah, I think it was. That's fascinating. Gen- like how did you <laughs> Look at him. He's got like one bit of him. Like, um, it's, it's, I'm I'm saying, it wasn't I'm, you, Chris. You weren't one. No, 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 no. My, my first Twitter follow was genuinely Angus Gunn. You <laughs> won't believe it, but it was. And then it was, him and something. then it was Jake Humphrey. And then it was Norwich City Football Club. Okay. I tried following big, big BGH for a while. It took me a few unfollows and follows for him to. And then I, in the I end, used to remember that. And then in the end, <laughs> and then in the end, I had to message him a couple of times, and then you know, Dan, me. Dan yeah, went and basically, followed me. Basically, it was like that. I used to remember you used to like pop up follow, then like, oh, he's yeah, pop up followed again. Yeah, because that's weird. Mate, I wanted to be buddies with you. <laughs> and now look where you are in the same room yeah, as Chris. It's an good. absolute honour. How Hands far on the you've Sorry. So how how did you find that whole sort of creative process then? Because the, the last <clears throat> stages of last season w- w- was painful to say the least. It was it was agonising at times to try and create content from my point I of view. I can't wait to watch it. I just um, can't. How was it for you? Because at times talking about football, I know you don't talk about football too much, but it was tough to find anything to talk about. So it was almost easier to find to make your videos as because it was it was so bland at times. Uh, yes and no. I mean, some things that happened off the pitch were always so much easier than the things that happened because. All right, we did a pass, we crossed the ball, we scored a goal. There's nothing like funny in that. But when the things that were going wrong... That's my channel. Exactly, that's your channel. That's your, that's your bag. But the things that were going wrong and the things that we had, there is a lot. If you, think, if you go through the whole of this season, there has been a Off lot of weird never, stuff yeah. happening. Like what? McNally leaving. That was kind of the first Moxie. thing. It was kind of in a... a, a oh, yeah, that was... 
roughly, it was late in the middle of the season, but that was the start of it. Yeah. Then Moxie coming, Moxie leaving. Um, Ed Balls on Strictly. Yeah. Um, oh, there's so, on this thing, I won't give too much away, but Weber coming in, Watch Farker it. coming in, all the signings we made, but the Brighton thing. Mm. It's just, there was a lot, I'm trying to go through everything I talked about now, but Pritchard. there is Pritchard being you know, one of the signing and him doing a U turn. Mm. The Ipswich game. That again, that is disgusting as well. What? That noise you're making. Mm. It's nice. I, I do like I do like a, a, a cake bar. A Cadbury's Just milk describe chocolate. why you can't eat chocolate because I was expecting it to be the like, oh, Because freetreats.co.uk will not be happy with you. <clears throat> mm. You're you going to rip the shirt off and you've got a tattoo across there. <laughs> yeah. free cheese. Yeah. The reason I, it's not, it's just a medical thing. I'll get migraines if I eat chocolate and caffeine and red wine and cheese. It's a medical so, reason. What do you eat though? Oh, guy. Just mango mostly. <laughs> Did you say mango? Good. It was mango. Interesting. Yeah, she was. It's going to be, I promise you, I've worked really hard on it, so. Good. Watch it, guys. Oh, I don't want you to give too with much With no away. budget and no anything. That's it. Biggest plug you've ever had. A camera? Should we get a camera? I could get free treats. Do you have a camera help me? But, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't want you to give too much away, but what was your highlight of the season off the pitch then? What was your favourite moment? What did you look back on at fondly? Or the, not so fondly, but just sticks out. The biggest, I think the biggest was how up and down, crazily up and down it was. Because at home, we were pretty awesome. Mm. And that's what most people saw. But away, we were so terrible. And that kind of giving and taking constantly. And he's like, oh, God, forget. Oh, yeah, right and away, then not so far as yeah. home. Like the contrast. Exactly. Oh, we, insane, oh, we've been thrashed by, oh, oh we won five nil again. Oh, for God's sake, oh, we've won 7-1. It was just mm. so different. And you didn't know how to be. I was constantly like this. Like, right, he's got to go. Oh, God, we've won final against my game. Another mm. Oh, he's got to go. Oh, God. And it was just constantly up and down. That's what the, mm. the biggest thing was for me, I think. What about you, Chrissy? I'm trying to forget about it, to be honest with you. Why? Johnny. It um, wasn't that terrible. If you think, all right, we didn't go up, but we, it wasn't that terrible. It was good fun. It, it was massively underachieved. No, I just can't, with the, by far the best squad we've ever had at this football club. Maybe in a since second. You've, since, you've been no watching, since you've been watching no football. No way. Since you've been watching football. Don't tell me there's been a better Norwich team than the one we had last season. Don't on tell paper. me. Well, on paper. Yeah, yeah on paper. What? Yeah, on for paper. our lifetimes, maybe. Of course. Oh, yeah, our lifetimes. Oh, yeah, yeah. When since you've been watching football, not for me. No. Well, what's, how far do you go back? I watched, I watched Norwich beat Bayern Munich. Oh, for God's sake. I'm so jealous of that. It's, it was, I, I had, that, and of course, that. What were your memories it, from that? I had an asthma attack and I, <laughs> and I collapsed. I was 9 or 10, 11 or so. I collapsed halfway through. Genuinely? Yeah. Well, when Gossy scored, kind of. Yeah, thing. proper. <laughs> I hyperventilated and then the whole ground used to smoke. And there was hundreds of smokers around me. And I was breathing all this smoke in and I collapsed. <laughs> Boom, straight on my ass. And my dad had to carry me out. And the last thing I remember. Is that was, why you are like you are today? Probably. I fell on my head. I felt my head. Yeah. I love that. that though. And by the way, I'm super bloody jealous that the noise, anyone, anyone that saw the Munich game. The noise of when Gossi's goal. Oh, just take don't. any take Simeon Jackson's goal, times it by ten. Really? It was, it was Literally incredible. Hair stand up my arm straight like, away, thinking about it. Boom. I've never heard oh anything God. like it. Well I've said it multiple times on here. I'm gonna fi- stop supporting football when we get into Europe because to me that's football complete. I'm done then. I don't want to <gasps> see anything else. What's that? Uh, Mr. Popular. Rubbish. So, what would be your, what would Norwich have to do for you to be like, yeah, it doesn't get better than this? Realistically, because we're never going to win the Premier League. Uh, I think Leicester. win. I think win either of the cups. Is that good enough? Though? Yes, definitely for Norwich City Football Club. League Cup? Would you be happy with that? Yeah, I would. Obviously, you're happy, but you have to be. Would you be like, cool, yeah, it doesn't get better. Well, than this now, for Norwich, we are historically absolutely shite in in cup competitions. So it'd be an achievement just getting past the quarterfinal. Um, and you'd have to beat some massive teams on the way. So, yeah, I think that'd be an absolute huge achievement. And to get silver at the end, what is nothing better than that. The Wembley game was mm. something that you have to never forget, I think. I yeah, know it's, of course. I mean, it's yeah. the playoffs and went straight back down again, but they don't come on. I mean, very often. of course, that, but then going forwards, I think it would be. A, and the way we've done it was so cup, special as well. It? Yeah, it was. It was so, so relaxed the whole game. Mm. Oh, it was it weird, was nice. It was strange. That's better. That's yeah, anyway, let's times. jump into this season. It's been a busy week once <coughs> again. We've signed Angus. Is it this Angus week? Gun. You're right. Yes, yeah, that Dr. Pepper I should have learned from last episode. <laughs> Who's that from? Is that Free Treats as well? Doctor. Is it? Yeah, Free Treats, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Free Treats. Um, so we've signed. If you choked gun. on this, like properly choked on it. Do you know how to, like, kind of. I do, actually. Do I am first aid trained. But if you did, like, what would you do then? What would happen? 
Well, I just I'd be some serious I'd, complaints. I'd be plugging free treats, free treats while I'm while I'm choking. <laughs> What about if you have an asthma attack while we're on it? Oh, I've got my asthma's gone now, sorry. Oh, is it gone? Oh, I used to have asthma, it's gone. Yeah, go out of it. I never had it. If I get a migraine, anyway. I have to stop. Angus Gunn. <laughs> you said it three weeks ago. We're yeah. only signing him. It's almost like you had inside knowledge. It could have been. Might have been. Don't you happy know. with it? Have you been inside Gun Circle? <laughs> <laughs> no comment. I'm, bu- I'm buzzing. He's gone red, that's it. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a shirt. Um, I'm absolutely buzzing that Angus has signed. Delighted. Ever since White, we interviewed Gunny scene, yeah. at the back end Ding. of... Sorry, excuse I'm, me. I'm, I'm on just... the fence here. This is quite good. You be that side, you be that side, I'll okay. be on the fence. This is well, no, I'm really happy. Have... I'd, I'd yeah, just like good. to argue with Chris oh. for no Yeah, and I'd like to argue with him. It's just the way it goes. Oh. Okay. I'll be, I'll be on the on thing. When we, we interviewed, game, when we interviewed <clears throat> Gunny at the back end of last season, and he said that he was going to you know, go out on loan... Gunny, and... back end. <laughs> John... That was nice. I'm just saying he's got we, a want his future brand said, deal. He's swearing. You're bringing, None you're of bringing that. the tone down. He's got a crush oh, on, 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 the, on, on Angus. That's a good thing. I like that. Basically, anyone that's born and bred in Norwich, that's passionate, loves the football club, follows them, supports them, why wouldn't you see, be loving See, that? Chris is like a love passion, love home. Because of David Nally. That's why I left. Sorry. God, I really bit of that, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, continue, Jack. Um, Chris is like a... As long as you've got passion, and as long as you're from Norwich, you're good enough. <laughs> Do you agree with that? Adrian Coote. You don't know who he is, does he? You don't know who he is. <laughs> Which is Scottish for... You don't know who he is, do you? Because when Adrian Coote was playing, he was from Yarmouth. Great place. I know. Well, it says it all, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Anyone I've from Boston, Yarmouth though. says it all. Yeah. Favourite bit about Yarmouth? Goldston. <laughs> um, Went to college, yeah, that'll do. Yeah. Um... He 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 was from he was from Norwich and he was just a bit poop. So I've been I, no, 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 no. Can I can I give you my, my concern? <laughs> if you've you've picked him up and I'm really happy he's coming because I think he's obviously a very talented goalkeeper, yeah. really talented because he won't be in Man City anywhere Correct. near Man City. <clears throat> but the only thing I'm worried about is that mental side of things. Because I think Norwich fans do seem to jump on goalkeepers if things aren't going well. I think of Michael McGovern. He, he actually was making quite. He was playing quite well. Then mm-hmm. he made a mistake and boom, people are on it. I Same think, with John Ruddy. I think the tide's going to change. I think as soon as you. As soon as you have a goalkeeper in between the sticks that's from your club, I think you will see a shift in supporters' attitude towards the GK. And if the the defence is good enough, the GK shouldn't have as much work as they've had in in previous seasons anyway. I think the thing is, and Michael Bailey spoke about it a lot this week, is that we haven't had any football to compare everything against so far. Mm -hmm. But but, everything looks good at the moment because we haven't played a game yet. So what happens if we're five games in, we've conceded 15 goals... And Norwich fans still going to Mate, be behind patience. Angus. Patience is the key yeah, but word. Patience isn't season. a thing in football. No, it is. No, it's not. It is for next no, season. It is. it is for next season. Yeah, rationally, Don't when you've just these lost guys the up. one 0 at home, you're not, not going to be. Hang on, whoa, 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 whoa. Right. We've won, right, number one, we've got a rule that to not talk about the scum okay. on this podcast. Okay, so. No, yeah, so say sorry for that. Sorry, Chris. And number two, I've forgotten what number two was now. Just Angus Mario Gunn. Vranic, we signed him as well. Is that how you, is that how you pronounce it? Yes. Yes. Mario Vran- no, it's Var- Mario Vrancic. Sorry, Va- Mario Vrancic. Mario has been to the same barber as Paul McVeigh quite clearly because they've both gone for the blonde highlights. It's, on a, top. it's a good haircut. It's a strong haircut. It's a bold haircut. He's asking for a well, two foot challenge. So, good man. Well, so we've signed a central midfielder, John. Does yeah, that mean thank God. That we need more of them. Johnny Howson or Dorans are off. Of course. Yes, both of them are going to be going. But that's okay. It's all right. It's a, it's a, it's just a big shift. It is. I mean, they've been here a long time. It's not to say they're crap players, but there's been. It's, it's just a shift. Why is time. Going? Why is Johnny Howson going? I just think if you Johnny, uh, we've been. Do you know Johnny Howson's going? Has Johnny Howson told you it's going? Johnny Howson li- lives in the same same town as me. So long, village. So Does long, that mean he's going? So I'm going to say. That's why he wants to go. It's really weird though. <laughs> that's, why, that's why John Money went as well. Yeah. I can Actually, see Graham going. I can see Graham going, but I'm still sceptical of Johnny Allison going. I think it's all talk. You, you were very angry about the house and thing last and week. I, and you know what? I'm really angry about the Jerome stuff this week as well. Really angry about it. Let's get on to that later. I want to. I want to still speak that's, about. That's fifth on the for this movie. Yeah. Okay. Follow the agenda. I spent at least 15 minutes. Put a big crush by that. Um, but again, uh, people have said what a fantastic. Um, passer of the ball he, was, he is someone said he was like the fifth best um, pass completion player the in the most... whole of Bundes- Bundesliga and they came bottom so obviously he keeps the ball that's really important he was their joint top scorer and scored four goals oh. last season 
that shows you how bad they were. Oh yeah, the, the team is bad. There's always good players and bad teams, aren't there? But if he's yeah. left, that shows that he was going to go to Bundesliga side anyway. And for, for seven hundred thousand quid or six hundred fifty thousand quid, mate, he's going to be quality. I'm that's like you. when I was little, they were signing players for that. Darren Beckford's cost, cost around that. Darren Beckford. I suppose the <laughs> what's the chant for Mario? By the way, can we make a chant for Mario, just or is it just Mario, Mario? Because like like Morrison. We Morrison, need some better Morrison, Morrison charts. Ours Morrison. are awful, aren't they? We, well, it's maybe sing like the theme tune to Super Mario. Oh, that's, da, 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 da. Quite, that's quite complex. Yeah, but, Mario could, but do you think the city stand will catch on? To yeah, they'll love it. They'll bloody love Seriously, it. Seriously, let's think. While well, we've got Big Run Home, you might as well bloody think of a song for Mario. Come on. You, you Apart have... from Mario, Mario, which is exactly what we're going to be singing Mario. next season. Mario! Mario. Basically, you've just made it happen, like simply. It's, but we need something different. We need to mix it up, don't we? All right. M to the A to the R to the. <laughs> that sounds like oh, Mickey, just you're so fine. Over and over again. I, hey, Mario, my so worry fine. for next season is that Canary Call is going to be utter carnage, even more so than last season with all of these new names. You don't get a chance to listen to it, though, do you? Marry you. I listen to the, like the back end of it. Yeah. Marry you. Back end again. What's wrong with you two? <laughs> we just like talking about the. Back end of things. Um, but, uh, this squad overhaul, do you think we're going to be able to adapt with it? Because so many players leaving, some of them being experienced players, yes. lots of new players coming in. Is it as easy as people are making out? But we haven't got a choice. I know, I know it sounds silly, but we haven't got a choice. We have to. This is the way that... Well, the um, other choice is another, te- another season of finishing mid-table. Uh, well, is that a choice? Well, that's what will happen if we don't adapt. Yeah, exactly. So we've, this is what this is what Farker wants to do. So we have to go with it. And I, and I'm, I think he's getting players in that have a bit more a ball retention than than Johnny Housen. Although he's a fantastic player, Johnny, he can run like mm. crazy. Maybe we're going to get the ball to do the work rather than the players to do the work this time. So it's keeping the ball mm. and moving it left, moving it right, and shifting people over, and then tiring other teams out and getting the fitness up. And our, our players, maybe that's the way being we're going to go the, forward. Being at the forefront. <laughs> You're bringing the game like to the players. Quite a lot about football. I, I, wrote, I wrote that all down. Like, so that, <laughs> that was your homework. Pitch. Yeah. That was pitch. Bill not used to Farker being chucked in there. So when John started there, I thought he said, I fucking think, rather <gasps> than, and I know, and, that, and I mean, that's just unbelievable, isn't it? Mm. But still adapting. But I love it. Maybe we should people put their hand up when they're saying it. So I think, I know, uh, Daniel Farker's been a really good you know, sort of thing so people know. <laughs> yeah, I like and that. And it's going to look like everyone's sort of got like mild Tourette's around yeah. there. Or, I don't know what we can do. Mini bike? Fingers in your ears. That's uh, sort of thing. Yeah. I dare you to eat one and see if you get a migraine well, from it. What? No, of yeah, course not. Go we on, dare eat you. It, eat it's it. like saying I dare you to have an epileptic fit. Right. Go on. Something completely random. Get the fuse in. Something completely random. <laughs> Was in Roy's today picking up my lunch, and I thought the big run home. Roxham? No, 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 no. There's a Roy's on Magdalen Street. <laughs> Is that absolute? I thought Roxham. Absolute. You went to Roxham for your lunch. Absolute hellhole. <laughs> Since when has anyway, there been more than one Roy's? You know, there's the, there's the signature cap. Well, the big run home signature cap, mm. and there I was very tempted to buy us both a signature cap. Oh, you just did. to yeah, you also stuff the posh. Right? They're one pound ninety nine. Oh. They're one pound ninety nine in Roy's. If anyone wants a big run home hat, they're one pound ninety nine. The Roy's. red ones were. Yeah. Were they? You need to get oh, on it. No. There's white ones spent, as well, so you can actually write on it. Like, you know, you could write a message on it. I spent two ninety nine on mine. Oh. Man. Anyway, continue. Alan Irvine. Are we still going? Are we actually just being recorded? <laughs> no, this is just a chat. Oh, okay. Alan okay. Irvine's gone. He's left the building quite literally. He used to live here. He's, he's left this building. Yeah. He was a few doors down, wasn't he, from your little thing? You should have... He left it there. Alan! Where the fun is there? Actually, isn't there a YouTube video about that? Alan! And then, that little, so seriously, right, someone will know that video. There's like a little hamster that says Alan. No idea what you're talking about. Right, anyway. He's gone, anyway. He's had too much chocolate, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's have some more chocolate. Alan's gone, that's a surprise, isn't it? Are you a bit sad about it? Mr. Bailey and Jack Reeve, whoever he is, was saying that he was, you know, probably going to stay. I've never said that. Where's that funky drink you had? He downed it. Did you? Because mm. mm. he's a gym lad. Disgusting. A bit like porridge. Yeah, what's that to do with Alan Irvin? Nothing, I just, I'm just looking for it, so. Yeah, I'm not surprised he's gone. He doesn't want to be here. And the bottom line is that anyone that doesn't want to be at this football club shouldn't be here. <coughs> so as simple as that. Yeah, but, well, I think what it is, um, everyone, really nice, think, I'm sure they are. Everyone, everyone, who's, everyone spoke to him and worked with him said he is a really fantastic chap. And I think he's got the taste of being a manager again. And mm. I think he did a quite a decent job for us, didn't he? I mean, to come in when, when, the, when the team was so low. It took I'm us not from like eighth to eighth. I mean, yeah, he did. I'm <laughs> no, joking. We, no, he stabilised it and he, was, yeah, he did a fantastic so. job. We, totally. could have been, we could have been ninth. 
I don't know. Hell. Do you know the difference between eighth and ninth is in the, in the, in the championship in, in finance? Of fifty quid. Eighteen pound fifty. <laughs> so that's thank. Mm. He saved that eighteen pound fifty. That is a decent saving, to be fair. Yeah. Cameron Jerome to leave. Yeah. Do you want to host it? I am furious about. It. Oh, yeah, go on. You. It's always something every week that you're furious about. That is not true. But Last week. Can you wait till May of the week, please? Okay, fine. I'll wait till May of the week. All right then. So I'm not talking about Cameron Jerome until May of the week. The, <clears throat> well, me and John have to talk about it. Yeah, Cameron yeah. Jerome. People are. People, I think the, the thing with this um, kind of transition is every single thing that happens at Norwich, people are feeling excited about it and getting behind it because Weber and Farker are doing such good things. But for me, hopefully, Cam, yeah. Cameron Jerome, 20 goal a season striker in the championship if you play him regularly. Why would you let someone like that go? Um, it's what, just one word. I mean, it's going to come down to it because that's what we are involved in now. It's wages. I mean, the only thing... Surely letting Cameron Jerome... He's, if he's on, no. say, if he's on 40 grand a week, say, he probably isn't, but say he's on 40 grand a week. If we can get two players that are mm. younger and might... Be on the on the kind of same level as that as they like um, Anaki Wells, for example, who scores I, that sort of goals, and it's like a third but it's of the a price. but it's a gamble. With Cam Jam, you are pretty much near guaranteed twenty goals. Everything we're doing from now is a gamble. Everything. Yeah, but so you therefore you've got it's, to keep a mainstay. It's a calculated gamble, but it's still a gamble. You've got to keep Cam Jam. What's it? We keep him, and there's no substance to that rumor at all yet again. Well, I don't know. It could be. Oh, stop it. I, honestly, I, I hate <laughs> this time. Seriously. Oh, you. Stop it. Anyway, are we on Moan of the Week yet? Because I can't no, resist No, the thing is, though, Chris, is that Cameron Jerome, he's not going to cost more than, what, two, three million pounds. He, he's going to score 20 goals a season in the Championship. You've got to keep Other Championship it. clubs would be snapping at that opportunity. Have you thought so about that? Maybe him. he wants to I know. Go. I'm saying that. It's, uh, why are people actually... And again... Last week, oh, Halston's going, oh, yeah, Halston, Halston's too old, Halston's rubbish, Halston's this, Halston's that. And he's only our second best player last season, you plebs. Next thing you know, <laughs> next thing you know, oh, yeah, Cameron Jerome, Cameron Jerome's done, Cameron Jerome's rubbish, Cameron <laughs> Jerome's this, Cameron Jerome's that. It's absolutely ridiculous. Who is? Uh, it's, it, everyone that's like... He's just, finishing his crap. As, as soon as someone makes up a story that Cameron Jerome wants out, when he's not even said he's wanted out, next thing you know, half the Norwich fan base don't like him anymore. He only scored blooming 20 goals last season, 20 goals the season before. And I did that. <laughs> um, but you get my point. In the championship, he is a solid player. And you're very right. Everything <laughs> going into next season is a gamble. Is a gamble. So therefore, if you have a player like Cameron Jerome, where you know he's going to deliver, you've got to break a leg to keep him at this football club. Is he always like this? Because I'm taking his chocolate away. Because he's going to like... I think he's a mixture of the chocolate and the protein. Well, well, okay, it's that, that's a, it's, it's a fair pressing, enough point. It's a fair enough point. However, he maybe he wants to go. Nah. And if, it, it, <laughs> if he can, nah. if he can get, you in genuinely his... think he wants to leave this football club on his money after his performances in the Premier League with another team knocking? He is he's respected in the game, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Really? Because he scores twenty goals plus a season. Plus next Northern, year. he might not want to go. Oh, sorry, he made up the Cameron Jerome wants to or he's rumored to go. Can you like take this as a clip? And when he does get sold next week, can you like just play well, that? Over I've been and right over. about, about right Angus Gunn. I'm going to be right about Cameron Jerome. He's got, he's got to stay at this football club. My my take on this is, I, I think you need to keep some of the players <laughs> that um, that performed well. <laughs> Tweet Chris when Jerome. <laughs> no, no, is that? I'm sort of this is something at the very end. I've got something to show you both. Okay. Um, Okay, I'm gonna put that down. Sorry for anyone listening on iTunes. We right say now. this every. I don't know why we we do we do things that people can't. Never mind. Listen. It's all part of the fun. Oh. No, my take on this is we've got to keep some of the players that performed well, or at least performed half decent last season. Because if you rip the whole core out of the squad, it's going to be very tough to build again very from true. the start. True. So the likes of Cameron Jerome, who came out in many interviews last season and showed that he did evidently care. Yes. Players like that, I think you need to keep a few of them. And I'm, I'm not buying into, well, it's all about the finances. So what about Halston then? Because you didn't have that opinion. Well, it's a completely week, different thing because I, I, th- I think you're not going to pick up six, seven, eight million pounds for, for Jerome. Um, and I think... You could for Halston? I think there's replacements for Halston. Okay. Do you know what? I, for I, I, cheaper. You say that about Jerome. He's still got two years in his contract. He has. He scores 20 goals in the championship. There's plenty of other... I'm sure Derby would come and pay eight million for him. To yeah, be fair. that's true. And, then, and then fail again. Derby, the specialist of failure. Clip that one up as well. Right, moan of the week, Chris. I'll let you just intro this for yourself. If you Have want. we done the news and of the week? To be honest with you, we don't need to do it. Like I'm absolutely furious. The yet news. again, Cameron Jerome. Cameron Jerome's got to say, and it's so annoying that as soon as 
the paper, and you know, I'm fine with saying it. as soon as the EDP say, "Oh, Jerome could leave," everyone's like, "Oh, we, I don't like Jerome. I've never liked Jerome." But then at the back end of last season, everyone was like, "Jerome's amazing. Jerome's been consistent. Jerome's been unlucky to not get Player of the Season." I honestly, I, I was actually kind of disappointed that he didn't get in the top three. I, I, I genuinely was. I thought I thought it's absolutely brilliant. He was a real unsung hero for us. In an absolutely shambolic season. It wasn't shambolic, was it? We've discussed that. And what? Hang on, John, 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 John. <laughs> Last season was shambolic. It was, of course, it wasn't. What? What? We just literally did talked you watch about what it. What we watched last season? Yes, I did. What? Seriously? Yeah. You're winding me up. You're Sham- winding shambolic. Me up. It's like going down. That is like shambolic. Think about the words you're using. So it was like an average. Yeah, Chris. Think about the words you're using. Think of the words it. you're using. So it's disgusting. Average. Oh, but our team we had. Should have been in the top three. Okay, so at we, least. okay, think of a better word. Okay, so, okay, it was a majorly under par season. There we go. That's better. So if you're going to say sham- terms, that'd be excellent. If you're going to say shambolic to us, okay, what was Aston Villa? That's disgraceful, <laughs> nutty. That's the word I use to describe frauds. Them. Nutty mm, frauds. Anyway, apologies for using shambolic for our se- uh, for our you know season description. I'm sure. Fans watching Didn't this. We say last history. week that we, we weren't going to talk about last season. Yeah, sorry. That's all we've done. Sorry, week. stop. Stop. John, what's your moan of the week? My moan of the week. Before we came on, that you love moaning. I do. You've hit that oh, age man, in your life. Literally, literally, like most Norwich fans. I ring up the missus. I'm like, oh, for God's sake, I've got, my pen's not working properly or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. So my moan is today is the 12th of June. It is. And people are complaining that, oh, what are we signing? Uh, we haven't signed any centre backs yet. We haven't signed any centre backs. We've got two months. To go. Brilliant. We've, Brilliant. Already, we've signed one, two, three, four players or whatever we've done. Three. Three players before soon. Totally with you. Keep going. And any minute now. Go on, John. We could like another signing. Literally, get that phone on because in a minute we're going to be, be oh, we've yeah, signed we'll 15. We've we'll signed someone. So, all right, we need a lot of centre backs. We know that. It's not as if the club don't know that. It's not as if this thing's not happening. It's going to happen, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. So we'll relax and judge things at the very last minute of just before we go out to kick a football yep. rather than like on the 12th of. Give them some blooming time. Bloody June! It's just. Muck the audio. I'm so that. sorry, everyone. That's just, right. I just threw a pen. Stuart Hodge ruined it as well, so, you know. Yeah, fine. he distorted the audio, didn't he? He was I've also got, an hour late. I've got a great... Hey, was he? Yeah. We I've st- got a great story about him, but I can't tell you. Oh, really? Yeah. I think he's got a bit of a dark side to him. There's <laughs> quite a lot of people like, oh, I've got a great story about Stuart, but I can't tell you. Top man. Oh, yeah, afraid, I, Stuart. I love him. I love Stuart. Top man. He's a man of mystique. Do you think you could commentate? No. I think you should do some John Rogers alternative yeah. commentary. No. I'd love oh, to do that for a day. I, you you have to get in the footage though, isn't it? So, mm. I've, we're thinking about Mr. Do you, know, do you know he's not Scottish? Who? He just puts that voice on for the commentary. <laughs> Did you know that? Just to become a good commentator. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. So where are we, Jack? I've done my mind of the week. I yet. know. Well, and he's taking the reins. Hurry up then. We haven't got much time um, this week. Mine is about people... Who aren't going to take that because of the recent terror attacks? Getting scared. This is oh, oh really? Blimey, yeah, this that's is more sad than I, I like. Not like no, sad. it's not sad. They should it's be like... going and enjoying the mm. dulcet tones of Gary Barlow mm. without being scared. Can like, you name go all... do live your normal no. life, people? No, can you name Gary me, Barlow? Can you name me the no. five the no. f- original Mark, five members? One. Robbie. No, I need whole names. Come on, Robbie oh, Williams. Yeah, Gary Barlow. Yeah, <laughs> and the other three. Come on, I genuinely don't. You missed out the best one. I'm sorry. Who's the best one? The one with the lisp is kind of cool. No, Jason <laughs> Orange. Jason oh, yeah. Orange. Bass guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bass guitar? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he played bass guitar. Are you thinking of the Beatles? <laughs> you are, aren't you? He didn't play the bass guitar. I'm going to say They don't play instruments. <laughs> he, he played the bass guitar. He played guitar, guitar on, on, on... No, 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 no. Right, Jason Orange played the bass, the, 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 the bass guitar. He's probably played it's it It's a favourite already. Well. That's the most worst. Literally, he's Googling. Did... Ask Siri. Hold it button down. Yeah, okay, hang on. <laughs> Let's ask Siri. Just, Oh, hang on, let's turn Siri on, hang on. <laughs> Come on, Siri. Why isn't she just being today? There you go, you're off. I don't know what that means. If you like, I Why can is she Australian? Why oh, do you speak today? I've changed my Siri so she's lovely in Australian. <laughs> That's unbelievable, he's got a fetish my, in Australia. I do like my girlfriend questioned that big time. <laughs> Try again, okay. Okay. Does Jason... Sorry, <laughs> oh, you're this is... Shut up, woman, for God's sake! What's her name? Do you have to do it in Australian voice as well? No, just do it. Does Jason Orange play the bass guitar? <laughs> Which team? There you go. Or Levant. There you go. Levant. <laughs> Levant. Right, anyway. What are you talking about? No, um, it doesn't, by the way. Yeah, so go to take that, enjoy <clears throat> it, and mainly stop selling your tickets because my Facebook feed is clogged up 
with middle-aged women. Can I talk about hype of the week now? Page. That leads nicely onto my hype of the week. Oh, I've got a really good. I was doing some filming for the What Happened video. Yeah, another and plug. 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 What and a man, you're making? yeah, and a man came up to me and went, "Can I help you, son?" I went, "I'm just, just doing some filming." You know, he went, "Classic steward." What's this for then? Football or take that? I went, "Neither, to be honest." Mm. He went, "Okay, can I take your name, please?" And I took, yeah, took my name. That won't happen next season with Regency Security involved. Mm. I saw someone, um, I think it was um, Fion posted the, the new like, thing, the, the new, what do you call it? Signage. <laughs> and it looks quite nice. Of course, it's Regency Security. It's a bit, a bit black. As though, nice I mean. as they... It's like quite, it's quite, it's like dark. <laughs> it's strong. Sorry. It's not racist, then. Mm. Uh, no, I didn't, black. I wasn't inferring that. It was. Jeez, what are you excited about? Racist. It's just weird. It's like, it's take like, that. I can't wait for take that because you the, stage is, the stage is in the middle. And <laughs> is that oh, is the yeah, yeah, no, right, yeah, about. right. So the stage is in the middle. No, no they're singing up in the gantry. Previous, just, just previous artists such as Elton John, JLS, and Ollie Murs have mm. performed within the Barclay stand. And by the way, before you say <laughs> you loser, you went to them. No, 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 no. I used to work for Delia's Canary Catering and I was walking around with the bar. Did you know that? I used to walk around with the bars of chocolate with the little holder going to buy a bar of chocolate. Oh, you owe me five quid, by the way. <laughs> Take that, it'd be brilliant. It'd be brilliant. Did, Did you like JLS back in the day? No. I rated them. No. Oh, come on. I can't yeah. stand just, anything X Factor. Fucking depressing now. <laughs> Do you not Talk like Talk about JLS. It's like, okay, I oh, know. Take I'll, that, uh, awesome. Really... There's honestly so many bangers. Every single, every single take of song is a whooper. Oh. What are you excited about? That's my prey. What was that? Oh, right, okay. Prey is quite, quite a quirky one, I should mm. say. Quirky. Greatest day is going to be good. Mm. Just dreaming of the day that we get promoted again. Is there a song about Giants? Yes, that was their oh, new song, Giants. That, that goes yeah. on a bit, doesn't it? I don't, I don't mind going far, though. He, he wrote a musical called oh, Calendar yeah, Girls. Or for the Calendar Girls, it's called The Girls. It's really good. But he big up GB, love it. Oh, man, that boy. song is dreadful. I'm a big fan of, of songwriters, but it's like the word giants about a thousand times. Yeah, right. It? That one's not particularly fantastic, but the others are fantastic. Give a break. It's like, it's like three minutes long, like, like ten seconds long. They've just repeated Shine it. Shine is just it can't, it can't get better than that. Greatest day as well. So, John, what are you excited about? Anything? Or are you just? Do you know what? I, I, look, I wrote a. I drew. I drew, you drew an arrow with nothing. With the nothing there. It. That's. I'm excited of getting the what happened video out. Saturday. Plug again. Yes. You, you're not allowed anymore, by the way. That's your three tick now. That's it. I'm done. Is that all you're excited about? I think so. I'm, oh. quite, I'm excited about that as well, actually. I'm going to be a dad soon as well, so I'm excited about that. Hey! Yeah. Cheers! So. With no water. Cheers. What? what? So, I assume you're going to get it a Norwich City kit. Yeah. say it. Go for the classic rude, picture on no, the Facebook fan forum. No, it's not. That's good. Call it it. Boy, girl. Don't know yet. Oh, so is it? Well, the, the, it. The, the midwife's... This Mini Rogers. Before, the, 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 the midwife said to us... Not knowing the sex of a baby is the only non-spoiler thing in the whole world. Mm. Think about it. Yeah. Everything mm. else can be spoiled nowadays by going internet. Mm. End of movies. End. I'm like, sure, there's a way to find out. So, on the mm. Mm. What, off the sex of my baby. Yeah. Have I hope a little, not. Have a little look. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Goodness so, me! Congratulations. Thank you, mate. Make Mini sure watches. you do what every other Norwich fan does and post a picture on the Norwich City fan forum okay. of your baby with the Norwich City kit on. Guaranteed face. And then you'll get. What name are you going to get on the back of his kit? Um, Reeve. Yeah. <laughs> Not really. Neat. He's a nice lad, that guy. Yeah, yeah. surely. Jack Reeve. Chris Which Reeve one though? Inspired. I'm going to get. Uh, Who L G H. Little Corey. Ah, oh, that's well. Predictable. Quite nice. cheap as well. Nice. Predictable. I've put my thing right in front of you. What am I excited nice. about? Um, the weather's been lovely. You can't ask yourself Actually, the same I'm question. excited about something. You can't ask yourself for quite... Let me ask you. What are you excited about, Jack? Um, just to have you here. No, oh, he don't mean that. No. What am I excited about, Jack, for next week? You've already done yours, haven't you? Take that. another one. No, 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 no. Next we've week. A, we've got a really big guest coming on next week. I know. It's a guest. Do you know? You tell me Hang that. on, it's a guest. That's a clue. It's a guest. It's a person. It's a person. Mm. Is it an ex? Is it an ex player? Is it a current player? Is it a journalist? Uh, is this, this a fan? Is it a top dog? Is that, this is a clue. I have no idea. That's more one for the for the iTunes. 
Mm. Right, right. Oh. on to the people's questions. Yes. Um, people's questions. Uh, let's start with the bad news. John didn't get the most amount of questions ever sent in. That's is, that, still, is that a thing? That is a thing. Cool. It still lies with... Who, who is it with? It's not Bailey. Boring. It is Bailey, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael Bailey was Big MB. He's got a beard, though, isn't he? It's an impressive beard. Isn't he? I would say your has got probably dark. ranks, what, third best beard on the podcast? Was... <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, it's nice. No, it's nice. It's consistent throughout. Um, but I will say that but 95% of the questions were to the Grant Holt, weren't they? <laughs> People thought that we were getting Grant Holt. On the I've day. had that since Yeah, the, because we the probably wrongly teased it in. We teased it in a bit earlier. Has Grant Holt ever like, kind of tried to sue you for using his name? No, I've met him though. And it was the most awkward three minutes of my life. Mm. Mick Dennis and Juice went, yeah, this, I think is, this is... I think it looked a bit Big Grant awkward. Holt, this is Grant Holt. And I went... Hi. <laughs> yeah, it do was yeah. It was painful. Grant isn't the most chatty footballer, but he's top guy. No, he's a top. Yeah, guy. no, Come top on. top yeah. guy. But nice. if someone goes, "This is Big Grant Holt," I think it's just because he's northern. You just need a certain amount of banter, don't you? You know, mm. you just got to fit. In you with clearly his didn't bring the banter, John. The banter. Uh, all right, let's get into the questions then. Let's start with Connor, who asked on Snapchat, "What Norwich player in your lifetime would make the best captain?" Oh, that's a mm. good question, Connor. Mm. Let me think. What a question. Probably not the best question of the week. Really? But no. We're going to be getting into that. Best question of the week wins a prize thanks to freetreats.co.uk. We'll get to that in a minute. Connor, sadly, you didn't win this week. Try oh. again next week. Sorry, Connor. Oh, best person of the thing. Oh. Can't inspire you. It's a difficult one, isn't it? I'm going. Because I will say, because normally they would be, ca- they would be captain, wouldn't yeah. they? If they were that inspiring. Mm. Johnny House has never been that kind of captain-y, has he? No. No. He's never been like a, a consistent captain. No. Maybe he's, he's not that kind of... And he's always the one they bring out when we've lost a game as well, isn't he? And he's like... Oh, yeah, um, no. Yeah. Ross mine gets dragged uh, out honestly, to everything. Honestly, Johnny House you honestly a lot because he does the uh, earth thing. Because he just doesn't speak very much. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, actually, we've got quite good, actually. Uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Mine is Dion Dublin. A million percent. A million percent. No arguments. Wow. Absolutely no arguments. Bandage round the head. Make an argument, man. He is just... He's everything you want a captain to, to be. He, he shouts on the pitch. Plays the he's a leader off the pitch. He helps the young guys come through. He can play in defence. He can play up front. He could probably play in goal if he wanted to. He played in midfield. He banged the goals in. He read... You know what? He had a great affiliation with the North City supporters as well. And that's something that I feel is is missing somewhat between a lot of the players and the fans. And he can present daytime TV. Really exactly. good at that as well, actually. I saw an episode of that the Tick. other day. He, knows, he says all the right things. Kind of like Pinto says all the right things as well. Pinto apologised for the season to me. Did he? No, on that shirt. Really? I went to go get it off him and he went... Oh, yeah, I saw you wearing it. Wasn't it pretty tight? It wasn't, was it? It's really tight. <laughs> it's really tight. <laughs> Maybe because I'm asking me, like, because I'm really fat as well, it's like that thing. But it's really tight and it smelled dreadful. Oh, did oh, it? Oh, man, did it? Yeah, because he's worked hard. I thought it smelled beautiful. I thought you'd like no. sweat like a yeah, lovely yeah, fragrance. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. No. Portuguese fragrance. Did it have grass stains on it? No, it's clean. Oh, that's a disappointment. Yeah. Because then you mm. can't really get away with saying it's my no. I like eating the grass off it. It's a been chance to get kind of rode into me. Mm. Just love, love the city. So who's your captain then? Yeah, who is it? Just pick one now, because we're bored. Jim Brennan. Cool. Um, <clears throat> let's, who's next? Uh, what has been the best signing so far from Hayden? We've got three to pick from. I know who you're going to say. Don't even ask someone different. Going. I'm going to say <laughs> the best signing we've made is freetreats.co.uk. No! Nice. Nice. What do they have to do? They have to go to the description, click the link, and sign up to freetreats.co.uk. What do you get? A free treat if you win. Crisps, uh, money. Uh, can, I, can I just what? say, coffee, genuinely? Coffee, can I just chocolate, say, seriously? Any of that. I have been on the website and I can tell you that it's actually a cracking little website. Yeah, it is really good. I don't, crappy. I don't, cracking. Oh. I don't just sign up to anything willy nilly because no. of being willy-nilly. in email marketing. <laughs> so sign up because it's brilliant. And we need it's you to gen- sign up. It's, honestly, it's actually good. Will you sign up? Bunch of whores, do you not? No, seriously. <laughs> no, seriously. You're not, I'm being completely serious. Come on, then, be serious. <laughs> Haven't you been serious from this point? How do we know the differentiation between the two, the, the serious and the non serious? We and John question? have a love hate relationship. Who's been the best signing? Oh, you've answered. What about you? Thanks, Angus. Um, nice question. Mine's Marley Watkins. Because he's on the bench for the Wales. Yes, he must be good. Can then. I just say yeah, something like, good. don't you feel with, I, I, I love the fact we've signed him. I'm not moaning. I think he's got great potential. But do you think it could be a bit canos esque No. Uh, match day meal. What is your match day meal? Your pre-match. This is so, I hate this question. Why? Oh, it's just tragic, isn't it? When do you have to eat all the football? Four days. 
Like, see, and and and, and then and then what what value does that bring to I the think I love knowing what people eat. I, <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> Most inconvenient burp there. <laughs> the dog, I, I should have learned. I Literally should. just burped in my face. <laughs> not, I bet probably Michael Bailey didn't get that shit, did he? <laughs> no, <I can> <clears throat> what do you mean for the game? All right, we'll eggs. On, Strong cup Next of tea. question. That's not Strong question. If that gets yeah. question of the week, I'm, I'm cancelling my subscription now. to free treats. Do it. Um, just to see him. <laughs> crumble. I, what do I eat? Oh, I don't. Uh, I love a pie. I love a pie at the football. Yeah. I think that's very nice. The pies have gone backwards, so they used to be really good. And, I think great. and the sausage rolls as well. They were really. I, I don't want to come all over, all over you know, Norris City AGM here, but the sausage rolls have gone backwards, haven't they? I really enjoyed the pies last season when they actually had them in stock. Are they pucker pies? Yeah. Or not? Are they pucker pies yeah. or not? Yeah. But I don't think they are. Oh, they are? And are they? Might, they? Oh, no, they might change, actually. I don't think they are. And Lurstoff Town have just um, signed a deal with pucker pies. So are I'm they? quite jealous of that. Yep. And that is today on LinkedIn. <laughs> Next question. That's what Chris does with his day. Um, realistically, where do you see us five years from now? That comes from Tyler. That, that's a cracking question as well, Tyler. Should we make, that, oh. should we make that question? No, no, no. We have to go through them all, then we can, like, they can judge, okay. can't we? Yeah, cool. yeah. Um, <clears throat> in five years' time now for now, so we could be in the Premiership. Oh, in five in, years' time. We could be like on, on par with, say, Southampton, or we could be back then. Ooh. We could be. You never know. If this, if this, if this goes completely wrong this season, this, this the Web and Farkin era. If that goes wrong, Farkin, Farkin, that is Farkin era. <clears throat> if that goes wrong, then Can't think we'll like never that. go abroad again. Oh. It's either Southampton or it's we'll be in the same position in five years' time. Literally the same. We will just go up and down, up and down, up and down. Brom did it for a few years, didn't they? Now look where they are. So you know. I'm more optimistic. I don't think we'll ever, ever be as bad as Blackburn. Not with Dealer and Michael in charge. Yeah, but they wouldn't long? let it happen. They're not going to be in charge forever, are they? They're in charge. They've got another five years in them. This is sorry. What's the question, guys? In five years' time. Okay. All right. So where do you see us being? Same position. <laughs> where do you see us being? We'll go up and down a few times. I think we'll be in the Premiership. Premier League. Compete here and at Premier what level? League. Sorry. I actually, uh, I'm leading towards that. I think that. we'll be in the Premier League five years from now. I think we'll be about 16th. Yeah. And we've just signed a really, really good player. That like, how the hell have we got him? Well, like a top scorer in the like Portuguese league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think we're going to be tenth in the Premier League. We've just won the FA Cup, <laughs> and we're getting ready for a European. Team. How old will you be? What in five years? Yeah. Twenty-four. Wow. How old will you be? Forty-five. Forty-five years old. And you'll be going. To I'll the be dead. Ready so don't pension. worry about that. Yeah, um, you'll be the AGM. I will. You'll be in the city stand. <laughs> well, the I like rock. that. Um, next question from Billy <clears throat> this is from Snapchat I think go on Billy do you, um, we see this era being as successful as the Lambert McNally era oh, I'd love it if it was sorry can I just say that? no 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 no. the Lambert era he, that's not question of the week because he mentioned McNally no he didn't I added that in <laughs> so that's not even his question Jack, Jack. I changed it a little bit it's, a, it's an editorial choice okay fair enough <clears throat> did you like McNally um, yeah yeah why? I did. And the main, he made a lot of mistakes and he was an interesting character, but the only I met him four times, I think, and he was really pleasant to me every time I met him. Yeah, because you got an interview with him, didn't you? Did get an interview with him, yeah. That's yeah. probably why you like him. Just to have like 20 minutes with him, he ended up with like an hour and a bit. Mm. He just, he just alright. He was just like... He was alright. I mean, obviously he's putting a character on, but then he came up to us like about three or four days, <laughs> three or four weeks later, sorry. And just like shake his hand, say welcome. You know, hope you have a good game. How are you? That sort of thing. And he off he Play well. <laughs> he was off his face on something. though, card. Do you remember when he did that tweet? The tweet. The tweet. Yeah. And the first thing I said was, "He's pissed, hundred percent," because I'd heard bits and bobs anyway. I don't mind revealing it now, actually, while we're talking about Manali. Exclusive. It's exclusive. I don't mind, I don't mind exclusive libel. Go on. That's so okay. basically, um, you know, when we got relegated and McNally took his. What boat? How much bonus was it? Three hundred and fifty k or whatever. How much was it? Yeah. Exactly. Let's just say it's three hundred thousand. Three hundred thousand pounds for failing at your job. Um, and I tweeted saying if we'd, if we'd, you know, I was slightly immature. I tweeted saying if we'd spent your bonus on the playing staff, we might have survived in this league. And did he um, come back to you and like kick you? And he paid followed like me. Three weeks of laughing his wages. He, he followed me. He DM'd yeah. me saying, "Can you please take your tweet down?" And he then got hold like, of my sorry. He, no. He then got hold of my dad. Good. He, he struck. He struck the family cord and said, um, 
Look, Peter, um, <laughs> if you don't... Is that your impression? <laughs> if you don't tell your son to take that tweet down, I'll be very... Very disappointed. He, and then he, he made some. He made some kind of pompous like accusation. Like I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a kid tweeting. It's just, oh, it's just pathetic. Can we not talk about him? Honestly, you were the, one who were the talking. amount of the amount of staff that he culled off that have been at the football club for years. <laughs> Twelve minutes about Mangani. Can we not talk about him? <laughs> you know, you know what? He made some great decisions that a million percent helped our football club, and I'm very thankful that he was here. But I'm also, I, I hate what he did to a lot of people that least deserve it at Norwich City Football Club, i.e. staff that have been there for years and care passionately about our football club, legends of this football club that were cast aside just because they were ex-players. Because they're ex-players, they get put in a box and they're not allowed to do anything with Norwich City if you don't bow down to old David Massar McNally. He was putting players in boxes. Yeah. Do you know you what? i tell you what won. Ewan Roberts for one. I love you. You're not Roberts. allowed to say it. You're not allowed to have an opinion. No, 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 no. This is the Dave McNally era. Don't have an opinion. So anyway, don't put McNally in that question. It's the Paul Lambert era. Will it be... <laughs> back to the question. <laughs> Will it be as successful as that era? Or the McNally era? I should feel... It. <laughs> uh, he, did, oh, he was good, wasn't he? What about the... He's just too much of a businessman. What about the Chase Walker era? Oh, era Chase. Like God. Robert Chase. He's got a great rep, hasn't he? People love Robert Chase. Yeah. Let's move on. Um, would you prefer to have lunch or punch Mick McCarthy? Do an impression of Mick McCarthy. Mick McCarthy. Okay. Uh, that was... I, I'm at Ipswich Town Football Club and they're fucking shite. Look at his face. I tell you what, you know what? Yeah, you get the trouble chin going. He's gone Jordan. So, Mick McCarthy. <laughs> Ipswich Town fans. Town with Scottish there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's enough. I'll stop embarrassing myself. That's my impression. That was okay. really, was really it? interesting. <laughs> Can I have my mango now, though, please? Okay, no Thank wrong. you, mate. And some, <laughs> I would advise some kitchen gone. rolls as well. He's off his face. He's off his face on something. Um, oh, it is proper mango. Previous left. Is it dried mango or is it like... <laughs> it's very wet. <laughs> oh. oh, Christ. <clears throat> wet mango. Mick McCarthy, <laughs> punch all... I'd like to have lunch with him. Yeah, me too. I Only mean, if he pays. I mean, because I'd secretly record it, like Sam Allardyce got recorded. I'd like have a little camera. Yeah, and then sell it to a paper. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. And and crucify Ipswich Town. I've got a feeling it'd be a bit boring. Yeah, he's like. Well, I reckon old. he's. Re- I got. I bet he's got some really dirty <laughs> secrets. <laughs> like seriously, About Freddie Sears. Yeah. This is pretty explicit, this, isn't it? I quite like Freddy Sears, actually. Um, Just go to the gym with the size of your bloody arms. You can't even open a mango it was packet. A, it's a wet packet, John. Oh, this is not going to end well. It's it it's like, you know what? Oh, my God, that is wet, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Again, sorry if you're listening. <laughs> on the bottom. You know when they like, used to be like, 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 oh, shit. There used to be like fish. John, behave. No, it used to be like fish. You're in the studio. Yeah. You ever did that? Like, if you got that bit of mango in your hand and then put your hand in a fish tank and went, I got him, I got him, I got him. <laughs> That is rank! How long have I been there for? One day. What's he done for a day? <laughs> That's disgusting. That's from M&S. That's that is disgusting. You have a bit of that. That Hang is rank. I don't like this mango. This is not from M&S. Oh, no, it's from <laughs> Oh, my God. I can't even eat it. Do you actually not like it? It's crunchy in the middle. <laughs> That's crunchy. That's a decent mango. That's crunchy in the middle. How do you like a mango? <laughs> Slightly crunchy. Oh... Uh. Next question. Will there be a uh, <coughs> will there be a Daniel Farkas song? And if so, make one now. <laughs> Japan, I'm, I'm going to regret that tomorrow, aren't I? That's another thing that will give you a migraine. Uh, well, actually, the fruit's all right. Except for citrus fruit. Can't eat citrus fruit. <laughs> Can you actually not? No, Google it, honestly. Ask Siri, what brings on migraines? Right, friends? Daniel Farkas song. No, they won't. I'm not going to do Daniel Farkas song. They take ages and I just, I've just done a, a song for the end of the... Um, so you're not willing to put in hard graft for the entertainment of Norwich City fans? It's not Do you entertainment. Not appreciate... You need to lead. Weber wants Weber wants a revolution in the stands. I'm saying that that is quite annoying because I've done I've done a think of the views. Think of the views. Think of the YouTube ad views. revenues. There won't be. I don't get any. Unless I'm not like you. I get like four p. I could spend it on a piece of mango. <laughs> <laughs> not on M&S it's crunchy though isn't it that's not, that's not right is it I've, I've had mango that's nice that is not right it needs to be he's fucking something no that's cliche it's born must right yeah, yeah, but, yeah but that's why it'll be good because other teams will assume that it's he's fucking shit but it won't be like that obviously because he's going to be fucking brilliant fucking brilliant all night How, we need to have, it needs to have fucking in there somewhere Norwich City fans watch have it have we done Hug of the Week yet 
Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah yours, yours That's it. I don't have one. You don't have one. Um, leave your Daniel Farker song suggestions down in the comment section below. And finally, the last question, do you see a future for Declan Rudd? I hope so. He's not going to like, drop down dead, is he? Uh, there's going to be something. I don't, we, at Norwich? No. It's a shame, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. He's been here for like 16 years. Has he? Yeah, he's How old is he? He's only about 16, isn't he? You were on his back last week. Yeah, no, I, I don't think he's good enough, but I kind of feel sorry for him. He's I'm sorry, right. but you've changed He can have a testimony if he wanted to. Oh, can he? Yeah. Oh, no, he's got to be professional to sign, don't you? You have yeah. to be professional before you get a testimonial. He is a professional. He didn't sign it at 16, though, didn't he? No, he had, he had to well, be... I'm pretty sure he's been in his whole life. Yeah, but you don't, you have to, he, had to, he didn't sign professional terms when he was, like, 12 or whatever. Oh, yeah, right. He's taken right, rugs. Right, he's taken rugs. No, yeah, something I'm just... Sorry for bringing the rules in for things. <laughs> God. I don't, I don't think he's going to stay at Norwich. And I, I, I don't think that I, he got will. For him. He's a good guy. He's nice, nice guy, and he, he did a good job when he's come in. He's a good, he's a good reserve for. I think he he's sh he's shone in League One, which kind of rhymes. He probably won't want to. He probably League. won't want to go down in his career as being a decent reserve keeper for Norwich City yeah. in the Championship. They will. It's all sure. relative, isn't it? In his world, he might actually be thinking that he's punching. You don't know, do you? Mm. So just give him some respect, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it kind of reminds me a little bit of. Um, Michael McGovern, in a way, he's a good shot stopper, but he didn't really kind of command the box. Don't associate our deck with Oh Mickey, you're so fine. Best Norwich City goalkeeper performance you've ever seen? Oh, bloody hell. Do you know what it is? I, I, I sound like a really old loser. It's because mm. you are an old loser. I am an old loser, I know I am. Cool. It was Mark Walton <laughs> in the, our cup run when we went to the semi finals. Okay. It was a game against. <clears throat> How many saves did he make? He saved a penalty against Sheffield United in the fifth round in extra time. And he was phenomenal that game. I just remember it. I, that's how good it was. I can remember it. I just remember it. And he just he played really well. He came because Brian Gunn had broke his leg that during that time. So he came in out of the blue and like Hang on. got us through. You watched, you watched the Brian Gunn play? Yeah. So you watched him head the crossbar at the Barclay? Yeah, those times. Oh my is God. Angus going to do that? So or is that against health and safety rules? I'd love him to, but he won't. He's too tall, isn't he? He will smash his face into the thing. I think he can actually he'll like jump. He can like rest like, his chin on top of it, can't like he? Like? Dunk or something like dunk. Yeah, yeah. he'll do like so his own thing. Hopefully, he create something new, like a I don't know. Like... I did, but he could hump the the penalty spot. That would be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> Just jog over and start humping the penalty spot. What? Everyone Best... go. Whoa! <laughs> hump! Hump! What hump! Are you talking? How could that be? <laughs> Awesome, that's what I say. Chris, best goalkeeping performance you ever seen? I reckon you should do the sexy circles on the goalpost. No, I'm joking. Um, best goalkeeping performance, Fraser Forster, just all of them. Yeah, just them. love Fraser Forster for Norwich. Jets against West Brom in the Cup. Legendary. We've got. Oh, I can't remember that. Right, what's the question of the week the way, then? He used his head to save a uh, point blank shot. In the what's the question of the week? <laughs> Don't know. Do you want to pick one? Okay. Yeah. Go on, go through them. Fly through them quickly. Match day meal. He no, hated it. Like please that. do that. Awful. Yeah, Maxine so, Yeah, everyone gets it. I can't. The only problem is I can't remember who. Every it in. everyone. Is it, that, get, that if, question gets done every week. If you're going to do match meal, meal, you said you were going to cancel your subscription to free treats. Free treats. No, don't, because I actually genuinely love that website. Oh, we just had a new question you don't from have Carl. To. Um, you don't how many hats do. do you own? I do. Sorry. How many hats do you own? Oh, good question. Finally, some good question. Um, I own. And where do you about keep them? six hats? Seven, where, seven, where, hats. where do you perch them? On, on in my little studio room on the. Um, you, you lay them out on a shelf. I do right, actually. In yeah. order, like people that like collect monster cans and things like that. And monster you know. cans. No, yeah. no, who no, collects no. monster cans? Trust me, I've seen a couple of characters. That yeah, but you, you used yeah. to collect Warhammer, though, didn't you? To be fair. <gasps> Did you? Yeah, Warhammer's. That's all right. Warhammer's good. boss. Warhammer's. Cool. I don't mind. Many people have passions about yeah. things. Did you collect Pokemon cards? No. Say good what did you do that was sad? Go on. I'll tell you something that's sad. You I play used to, cricket I used still. To love, um... You play cricket still. Yeah, I do play that's cricket. That's pretty still. bloody sad. It's not. It's I used to love watching Scrap Heap Challenge. That was a good show. No, nah, it's decent. That was a decent show. That's not Robot sad. Robot Wars? Like, pro proper, like... Robot Wars? That's, that's all right. Yeah. It's just a TV uh, program, isn't it? What did I used to do that was sad? Um, like proper Robot that's Wars. Weird. Fresh Prince Beller. That's what used to be the saddest thing. <laughs> um, right. <clears throat> that final question. Oh, Carl Freeman. I like him. He's nice. Question of the week. Well, to Carl? Yeah. No. Yeah. How He's... many hats do you have? That's a good inventive question. He, he does it? not need the prize. Trust me, he is doing well for himself. He works at Lotus, for fuck's sake. Well, I bet he hasn't got as good a treat as we've got to offer him. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> Lotus can't provide what we're about to provide him with. <laughs> How many hats do you own? As I say, six. Six. Yeah, six. Listen, six. Jack. Oh, that's not actually that impressive. Mm. Oh, no, actually, I've got some other hats. I think six is quite no, impressive. Probably, probably a bit more, actually, but seven or eight. I think six is Do you own lots of beanies job. as well? I've got one. 
I inter- you interviewed with wearing one once. Really? Yeah. Purple one. First time someone did a fan cam when you were around the back of the... Um... Old school, that Old was. Old school, yeah. Right, there we go. Carl, you have one question of the week. Has he? Yeah. Well, well done, Carl. I'll we'll get you your free treat out to you. Uh, anyway, massive thank you to you guys for watching. Hit subscribe on iTunes. Is and it you can also, yes, yeah, done. Huh. It's done. Watch what happened. I haven't just got into it. Watch what happened. Yeah, do that. Yeah, please do. We'll link it in the description when it's actually out, shall thank we? Thank you, mate. That'd be nice. Oh, just send them to the to the trailer to get a yeah to get a feel. That's not, not too much feel. <laughs> um, John, thanks for coming. Thank on. you, everyone. Yeah, cheers, John. Do you want to do, do? Let's do something different. Okay. Um, no, you, you, do, you do not normal, and I'll and I'll I'll back to that. Okay, so. Oh, hang on. So we just stay there. Yeah. Normal. Yeah. And then unnormal. It's got to be quicker than that. Yeah. Bang, bang. Okay, so we're quick. What? Am I, am I going to no, you do me, and I'll oh. do that, and you do another one. Ready? One, right. two, three, bang. Now you're into something. It's got to be in time. No, no, you're doing it together. You do me again, please. See you later. I've got to do it. I feel like OCD if I don't do it. All right, do it then. Quick. Come on, get it. Right, boom, together. One, two, three, boom. Boom. That'll do. Oh, shit. Bye. Whoa.